hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. This is bullshit. Oh, you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm, before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. Your honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? You fuck? Uh, uh I know. I re I'm really embarrassed. I forgot about the. Uh, uh, I forgot about it, your highness, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The def the defense may begin its cross examination. Yeah, that's me. Okay, this is okay. This is okay too. This is okay too. How did you know that? How, how can you possibly know that? Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the, kill writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. Clearly. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Uh, I guess. I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially, especially the name of her own sister. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, mister. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Objection? Uh-oh. Edgeworth is going on. Stop right there. What? Why is he shrugging? The witness opinion on the matter is irrelevant. No? Because he's a detective? What is this? What is this bullshit? The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accursed. No! Stop smacking the table in confidence. This is my work here. God damn it. The victim holds us. The victim told us the name of her killer. I love this, like, um, uh, zooming back on the court. Hey, Whittle. Nice to see you. Whittle Fawn, hope you're doing well. <laughs> stop, stop Nick Cage facing me. Ah, it's, 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 it's cool. No, can't look away now. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Uh, order, order. That didn't go so well. Oh, I'm I'm going super well, thanks. I this is the first time I play this game, and I have a blast. Like I'm two cases in now. This is this is a treat. Like even if I can't, you know, my English is not that good. But oh my god, <laughs> like I having fun here. That, that's right. What he said. Hmm? That's his whole testimony? Okay. There has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Stop cage phasing. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on the written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Yeah, okay. I see that. Can I present something? Nick is your boy? Yeah, he's he's cool. I like it. I like it. He's like a JoJo character. This whole thing is like JoJo bizarre adventure. What should I do now?
I'm not sure what I, what I, what I, what, I, what the game wants from me right now, or what I want from him right now. Should I press it again? Detective Gumshoe, do you get a look? Oh yeah, we 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 have we had that. Okay. Okay, we had that. Okay. So we can repeat stuff. Okay. What game is this? This is uh, Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I guess the first game in the Ace Attorney trilogy then. The facts are clear. The victim wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Okay. What is, what is the problem right now? That didn't go so well. A contradiction. A contradiction. Oh, Windel, what the f looks in looks intense. It is intense. Well, what is going on here? So much laugh today. Like I have to write all that schnick down for my next incentive. Thank you so much. Like this December looks hard. Snowing. It's 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 snow. It's snowing subs right now. Thank you so much. Yeah, she needs that. This girl, she needs good emotes in her life. <laughs> no, she has she has great emotes of her own. You have a triangle. Ooh. Or a pyramid? It's a pyramid. I'm the pharaoh, you know. Hats, cool. Pharaoh stuff, cool. Sand, cool. Sand is cool, you know. Between your toes, very cool. We don't like rats in here, so... Thank you again, like, wow. Appreciate your help. Appreciate your... Giftingness. Okay, we have to find another contradiction. We have no category right now? Oh, super. Uh, Phoenix Rock. That's the tiny. You have to go? Do you go to work? Better reach the archives. Okay. Thanks again for your kindness. I appreciate you and your doing. Thanks for being here. And uh, don't get stressed at work. There has to be a contradiction in here. A contradiction. Can I present stuff? Or maybe the phone? Maybe I go here. You went mess stream with work. Ah, I see. Maybe I should show this? Okay, 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 okay. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and the testament uh, just now relate? They aren't. They aren't. What? Are they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think. Ow! The facts over before making accusations. Huh. What? Can I press everything? Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Oh, of course I do, pal. Uh-oh, he sounded pretty confident. This might be not, not be good. Oh yeah, sh sure. Let's hold it on. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. Hmm, she was right-handed. <laughs> nice try. Uh oh. I guess it wasn't too hard to see that I was getting it at, at there, huh? Huh. Oh, 
I need to hear you say your name. Oh, because you, you know, it's Ustra. If I, if, if I say it in German, it's Ustra. But you can't, you can't do it. Like, I, I don't know. I, you can do it, I guess. But it's, it's Ustra. Just, just it is. I hope it helps. But you can make, you can call me what you want. People butcher me, butcher my name all the time. So it's not, you know, making fun of it. The Ahazo part also. So it's okay. It's, it's totally fine. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not names. What kind of test were those again? Huh? What kind? Oh, well, I heard they take the little bit of blood, the or ammo, this. Helmo goblins! Ah, hobgob. Hmm. Helma goblin bobbler. I refuse to festify on this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe? Yeah. I look forward to your next elevation, as should you. <laughs> I test the goblins in the blood, yes. Well, that was a mess. I I'm, I'm not sure what... Oh, yeah, let's smack. Oh yeah, that we, we, had, we had that. Huh. You found a memo. Let's see. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Then who wrote it, smarty pants? Who? Uh, the killer. But I did! <laughs> the killer. The, the killer. Anyone can see that. Huh. You're saying the killer wrote her own name. Buddy, please. She was framed. Oh, I didn't see that. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Huh, I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouth, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. What? What can I do here? And did you find any evidence? No, no. Now listen, I'm getting to the good part. So. I have to... Present something. But what? Soll ich das, soll ich das zeigen? Ich denke mal jetzt... I, I think now I'm getting like... Damaged again. Your honor, the statement contradicts... Contradicts his evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. What? What am I... Again, I'm not sure... What... Can I just let him go? I don't see anything here. It's like the lab test, it's his, it's her blood. The blood is written on the freaking note. The name is on the freaking note. Yeah, and I can't press something. The killer's name. Hold a conversation between Sheev and Maya. Death was instantaneously. Ah, oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 ah, damn it. I pressed it again. Oh uh, yeah, I know that. I know now. So she got hit with the freaking thing and she couldn't ride it. Okay, I see. Oh my god, this was hard. Sorry about the letdown. God damn it. Game is hard. Especially if you're not like native English or like studied the language, I guess. Uh for memo written. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Detective Gumshoe, there is one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim M Mia Fey wrote this note. That sure was accusing the defendant Maya Fey. That's, re that's really what you're saying? Saying? What? This isn't one of your, those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. Smack that table in confidence! I'm back, baby! I was confused for a second. She died immediately. But... No butting! <laughs> You're way out of this one, detective. Stop punning. Stop with the puns. Please. Mac. Order! Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately, immediately wouldn't have had time to write anything down. Mr. Wright. No butts! <laughs> I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Uh, when? The day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point begin? Uh oh. That autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Oh, this... this... crawling Edgeworth worm thing? Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Almost. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! You should share these things. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to ride Maya. Did he just bow? That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeves. Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? <laughs> You're a sham, Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard there's some uh, nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the, defen the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. Shush. You shush, Mr. Lawyer, uh, Mr. Judge. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report... And re this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. They're pulling like things out of jackets and trick, trick like second flooring and all that crap. Now I'm sitting here like sweating. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call his next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Slap. Let the witness, Miss April May, <laughs> take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent. Ooh, good one, Phoenix. Ooh, good one, Phoenix. Oh my god, she's gnawing again. Yeah. Witness, your name, please. April May. At your service. J -j 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 Did she just wiggle? Did she just wiggle around? Did she just wiggle? Okay. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Yeah, I guess. The witness will refrain from one tune. Winking! 
Oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Oh, tell us, where were you on the night of September 5 when the murder occurred? Uh, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fayon Co. Law, uh, law offices. Mm-hmm, that's right, big boy. Please testify in the court about what what you saw. Witnesses account. See. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy... Mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and... And she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kinda slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Wink. Stop wiggling. Please wear a bride cord. Thank you. Hmm. Well, your, your honor. I see. It's a remarkable solid testimony. No, this is remarkably solid melons. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... Wait, your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? Oh my god, you fools. Get out of my freaking room. This is... Go get a job or whatever. I ban your ass. Bye. God damn it. These stupid bots, dude. I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite a uh, firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Mrs. Mia Face understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way to finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey! How dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross examine the witness? Yes! I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination, if only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weaknesses. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Okay, let's see. Nine. I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. One attacking was she dodged on one side and ran away. Can I press this? She dodged, dodged one. Well, the attack. Please continue your testimony. Okay. She hit her. Hit her with what? Now, did you know? It was my client. How did you know it was my client? Uh, well, I... Gee, first of all, she had a girl... Girl's physique. And, and secondly, she was... She was small. Who else could it be but her? She has a point. I question your testimony. Hold on a minute. The testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... You're lying. You're telling... Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I, I mean... Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fay, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, this is true. Oh, this is super true, yeah. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness testimony mentions neither of those things. The testimony is bogus! But 
still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. We know she was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. You smack that table. What do you say? What do you say to that, Miss May? Rawr! Oh, what? What are you trying to say? You mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> the wiggle, dude. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise, wink. A testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. But almost. Only almost. I did see everything. I did. Oh, oh, it's it, it's 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 changing now. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That's... That clock. Uh, that kind of statue clock. The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not stale you? Tee <laughs> Yeah, it does, because she can't see what it, what an object it was. I see. I only wish you had been so de detailed from the beginning. Please begin your cross-examination. I can s Can I show her the map? Where did this weapon came from? She picked it from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? A clock. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Okay. I did see everything. What does everything mean? So, you saw them too. So, saw me too. I did I did remember that Spiky here anyway. Spiky? The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Oh, what a bad girl. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. Very well, continue. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her, and she hit her with the with that weapon. Oh yeah, you know we back here. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. Good. So I could present the freaking map. Your Honor, the testament contains an... What? It does? Oh! It is the map! It... What? Is it not about the angle? Holy. Press all of this! Is that right? As in your right? As you look from the hotel? Uh, which hand do I hold my knife in again? <laughs> Your jokes are terrible. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> right. It was my right hand, right? That is fine, Mr. Right. Please continue. Was it a right on right on right girl? Ran after her. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you... I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh. And her hair was all done up like a bun. Yeah, because she she's she sees her now. Should I just do the statue on the statue now? Because nobody knows that this is uh, like 
th this is like a clock. Let's see. Oh, okay. Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Yeah. Revealing? Oh, you like that, won't you? Naughty, Mr. Noya Lawyer. No, not that revealing, you... I think she likes pink, yeah. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way from knowing that just by looking at it. Uh, another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murderer. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. 